Hey guys, it's time to do a side-by-side -side UI comparison between the new Android 7.0 NuGet firmware that we have on the Galaxy S6 Edge uh, versus the old Marshmallow on the Galaxy S6. Uh, see the changes what we have side-by-side. -side. So first of all, if we start off from the lock screen, you can see that it, it's looking pretty uh, good, pretty um, similar. Got two shortcuts for phone and camera. Uh, unlocking the phone. The home screen, like the usual Samsung design, uh, software design language is there. But you can see the shape of the icons are a little bit different. You can see the Play Store logo. So uh, there's like a wide thing around the icon. So a lot of people like this. Uh, going into the app drawer, this is also very similar, but now much more cleaner because there's like a search thing, like a big search thing, which you can click quickly press it well here is just a search button and then we have a to z sort button and then the edit button to basically uninstall application move them around and um you know make folders so uh, and now they have you know merged this in this three dots and we have the edit and sort button under the edit dot and then a big search button so uh, looks uh, a bit more clean in my opinion uh, then of course if you hold down the display uh, you get these options here so we have the theme uh, the wallpaper, uh, the, the widgets, here there's like four options, but now we have the wallpaper and theme. So they have merged the wallpaper and theme option to just one and widgets and the screen grid. So that is a bit of a difference there. Uh, also in the power off menu, if I just quickly show you that, that is also looking a bit different. There's like a take bug report thing. And then of course, when we press the power off button, it looks very similar turns red uh, but the text is just a, the text has gone a little bit lighter uh, there's a bit of a difference in the font so uh, let's see what else what else as you can see i have received an update on my phone i'm pretty sure it is not android nougat it's just a small um small you can say security update so i'm just gonna quickly say install later uh, I'll be doing a speed test between these two phones, so please stay tuned for that. Then, of course, the big change we have is in the notification or quick setting area, the whole uh, big change that Samsung has done, uh, which is, uh, believe it or not, is actually, if you compare it side by side to a pure Android phone, uh, which if you guys want me to do it, then I will do it with the Pixel, but it is actually a lot like that. So uh, you can see the quick settings, they are looking a lot more clean. And this is how the old quick setting looks like on the Android Marshall. You can see the difference and how much better that this one looks. We have now a search button. Uh, we also have this like uh, voice integration. Uh, and all the settings are like, I mean, it's just so good with the, with the font and everything. It's just more, it just stands out more. So uh, we got the torch here. Now basically you can uh, get that individual levels, uh, but just with Marshmallow, you just have to press it to turn it on and off. Well, here you got levels uh, and then we have blue light filter, which is a night mode thing. And some they call it blue light filter, which is absent on the Android Marshmallow. Uh, then you also get the new power saving mode, which gives you the mid and the max mode. Uh, and you know you get a bit more of a control over your phone. You know what you want to do with the power saving mode and what you don't, which you don't get on the previous power saving tools here on the S6 Marshmallow. And then of course we have the new secure folder thing, which is one of the best additions, uh, software additions uh, on a Samsung device. It basically creates a copy of your application, you know, like a copy of your camera, a copy of your internet browser, and whatever you do in that application, it re it remains in the secure folder. So, you know, it's protected by a password or a fingerprint scanner. Uh, so that no one can access but you. So uh, one of the best additions right there. And then of course we have more settings over here. Then you can of course edit them uh, by pressing these, those three dots up there. And then of course a big change is in the settings, in the main settings. When you go here, you can see that uh, it's just scattered. Everything is just scattered on, on, on the main setting page. And it's really difficult to you know uh, operate easily while here is just uh, so simple everything is just uh, we got like a image at the side colorful image a white white clean look 
device but then look at how, how the text is going and under the text uh, the the options are named you know like in device maintenance we'll see uh, we'll see battery storage and memory so when I press it I'll see these three options you know so like I said it's much more easier to operate now and uh, we got a bunch of different things here for example the device maintenance uh, which is a one-stop shop for your phone to clean up useless files um, then of course uh, we do have uh, they have merged the battery storage and memory you know all the phone tools type things they have merged it in device maintenance uh, specific advanced features tab which was here before so let's see side by side what changes we have smart stay uh, pretty much all the features are still the same I can't really see a new addition with the NuGet uh, direct share is there uh, so yeah, I have to say, I mean, settings have also changed a lot. You're gonna love it. Going into the camera UI, this is also where you get a big, big change. And uh, the older UI was, wasn't that much of a user friendly. You can see all your features, all your uh, settings on uh, the top left area. You got effects, HDR, it's just not user friendly. Like, I mean, uh, sometimes you can press it, sometimes you just press right here and it's difficult to, you know, reach these uh, small buttons. And uh, and then we have the setting gear icon and then there's a mode, uh, mode button. So now uh, they have changed the UI and they have learned a lot with the pure Android. And basically now what you can do is you, you can swipe here uh, to go to your modes and then you can swipe to the left to check out your effects and then of course we still have some options but now there's a much more space so you can easily press them comparing the camera settings you can see that now we can have the ability to uh, edit the picture size in the camera settings compared to before which was outside um, there are a couple of familiar options but uh, as you can see the new addition is save pictured as preview which is like a mirror feature feature that uh, I personally want it because you know sometimes when you take selfie or take a picture it you know kind of flips so you can stop that by this option and some people were commenting that this feature was available in marshmallow as well you are wrong buddy that uh, this feature is not available on marshmallow it was addition uh, with the grace ui and with the android 7.0 nuget update so you can see that we have it here it says save pictures as previewed uh well here uh, we just have uh the rest of the features of course are are the same so a massive change to the camera UI, i have to say uh, other than that of course you do get uh, the split screen multitasking on both because samsung has been providing us that feature for quite a while now so going into internet browser going into play store if i hold down this button it's going to initiate the uh, split screen mode so i can quickly open a application i want to for example the gallery so uh, it works pretty fine now on android 7.0 nuget it is now built in uh, to the software so now you have the option to basically uh, go into the pop-up mode which is uh, a, a a further advanced form of multitasking or you can go into split mode uh, and open two applications on the same screen uh, you can notice the, uh, the similarities you can you know resize stuff you can um, you know close applications you can change the applications so uh, I have to say I mean Samsung has been really really good with multitasking features uh, the split screen thing is not a new thing for Samsung users but still now it's looking a bit better because we have the pop-up thing and the split mode thing you know side by side also, every application from phone dialer to internet, gallery, notes app, every application has gone a little bit of a cleaner, whitish touch here. So you can see that we now have uh, a full on white clean look compared to the old green bar. Uh, going into, let's say, calculator, show you guys that one as well. If I go here, you can see that difference. No green color, now it's blue. And there's like uh, the C button has gone a little bit smaller with the you know the red text so yeah a bit of a uh color change ui change with every application um going into browser you can see that uh the change the buttons the font uh the white and black it's now you know standing out more compared to the earlier look and same thing on the top as well you can also see the change of icons for example in the gallery application we have now like a star um, also, they have changed uh, the clock UI as well, side by side look here. This is how it's now looking, we have this plus icon. Same thing with the music application, bit of a different font, a uh, little bit cleaner look, you can say. Yeah, uh, this was a full uh, side by side comparison with the older UI. 
Uh, I hope this will, uh, you know, cheer you Samsung Galaxy S6 fans up uh, because this update is nice. It gives you, it will give you a, a new look of your device, a new, um, it will bring a new life to your device. It's awesome to have the latest flagship features on an older flagship phone. So Galaxy S6 Edge is still a great phone. It's worth buying in 2017. I've done an extensive video on the S6, you know, slash S6 Edge if you want to buy it in 2017 or not. So thank you so much for watching this comparison. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.